Meditation is intelligence. When meditation happens, you attain clarity. You also grow into a penetrating intelligence. You can reach into the inner core of your mind. You can visualize the motives behind each action, not only yours but that of others as well. Before you begin to do anything, always remember to look for the motive. If you miss the intention behind the action or thought, the mind will fool you. The mind will convince you of the intentions so that you do not come out of it. The mind always wants that. Let me explain this with an example. You have some incident in your workplace that has fueled anger in you. Probably for some reason you had to tolerate the anger of your superiors. You reach home full of those thoughts. At home your children are making a noise. You will try to tell them to be quiet, but children are children. They do not listen and continue making noise. You cannot control anymore. All your anger which was waiting for an unconscious moment for expression, you take it out on your children. The matter was so trivial and there was no need for all this, but out of anger you beat them. The mind will convince you that this action was necessary. The children needed to be disciplined. So the mind says it was necessary. In fact, it was for their good. It will make them disciplined and they will learn how to behave. It is necessary for them to obey the elders when they are told to do something. This is rationalization, but you fail to realize the very nature of children is to make noise or make mischief. This is part of their childhood. If you get angry with the dogs barking at the night or mosquitoes bite you, again you do not realize that it is the nature of the dog to bark or a mosquito to bite. The entire existence is living in its nature. It is only man who does not live in his nature. Many times people say that I cannot meditate because dogs are barking. What the dogs have to do with your meditation? Dogs do not know that you are meditating. But they are not bothered about your meditation you are doing prayers, they continue to bark. Why can't you do the same thing? The difference is dogs do not have the mind, but man has the mind. Mind can rationalize in many different ways. The entire existence is living in its nature. The nature of the dog is to bark. It is only man who does not live in his nature. Let us go deeper into this rationalization. You were angry. You could not get angry with your boss. He is too strong in a position for you to get angry. It was risky and economically dangerous. If you get angry, that may adversely affect you economically. So you needed the helpless one. You saw this helplessness in your children. They depend on you. They are too young to react. They cannot pay you money. So you found the most suitable one to express your anger. But she did not. So you take out your anger on her. She know that she was busy with something. but. No one understands that the other can also be busy with something. To you, your work seems to be more important than what others do. So you get angry on her. 
she has to take out that anger on someone she goes and beats the children the daughter who was playing with her doll and making noise and all this so she gives her a beating now what the daughter will do she takes up the doll twists her neck and damages it this is a chain reaction that goes on look into the anger are you angry with the child then mind is fooling you through its rationalization every moment the mind goes on fooling you and you continue to wag your tail behind the mind you cooperate with the mind it is your misery watch such moments for the right motivation without the right motivation you cannot have the right action then the mind will have control over you and you will not be able to move beyond the mind in fact mind will then be your master i have heard one friend said to another i do not see any reason why you insist on your wife wearing the chastity belt whenever you go away from home i know i know it is hard but whenever i return home i can say that i have lost the key replied the other friend observe such unconscious moments the mind continues to play the master it is so because you are unable to see the real motive once you are capable of seeing the real motive behind you are in fact knocking the door of the mind in order to attain to a state of meditation you must be able to see the motive behind everything clearly now the mind cannot control you anymore once you can do this mind is a mechanism and all mechanism lacks intelligence human mind is a bio computer a computer has memory it has efficiency but no intelligence its utility is functional and however there is no awareness the mind acts as a robot it works efficiently but does not listen so do you listen to the mind otherwise you will lose your inner intelligence it is like asking the machine to guide you the human mind is borrowed never a new thought arises in the mind mind is repetition watch whenever the mind is saying something mind wants you to act in a certain way whenever there is something new the mind loses control over you whenever anyone is creative in any way it becomes easy to enter into meditation and those who are not creative always find it difficult to enter into meditation mind is repetition and life always comes before you as new do not listen to old routine always do something novel even a small things will make a difference a change in the way you walk your way of dealing with your children wife or husband will make a stride in the process the mind will begin to lose its control this is the essence of meditation every moment is new pulsating with life embrace it life will bring a new meaning always do something novel change the way you walk or talk to your children or wife or husband the mind will lose its control over you and remember this is the essence of meditation meditation is your ultimate flowering meditation brings intelligence infinite intelligence a radiant intelligence meditation makes you more alive and sensitive it leads you to a richer life but your mind is very cunning 
it goes on rationalizing all its actions. Ordinarily people are violent towards others. You turn to be non-violent. But the seed of violence are still in you. Mind plays its tricks. You can learn non-violence. Mind says it is easy. It will learn non-violence. Now the mind becomes violent towards itself. Now instead of being violent to others, the mind convinces you to be non-violent to, to others. But the seeds are in you. So you start becoming violent to yourself and to those close to you. The mind always plays tricks. People respect the violence that you do to yourself because it is felt that to be an ascetic means to be religious. That is not right. It is sheer nonsense. Remember God is not an ascetic. Had it been so there would have been no creation, no flowers and no green trees. There would have been only deserts. As you see the ascetic to be simply a desert, God is not an ascetic. Because in that case there would have been no song in life, no dance whatsoever, no cemet only cemeteries. God enjoys life, that is why there is so much liveliness, so much richness and variety. God is more epicurean than you can ever imagine. If you think about God, always think in terms of Epicurus. God is constantly in search of more and more happiness, more and more bliss, more and more joy, more ecstasy. Mind is very cunning. It wants to rob you of your joy and bliss. It can even rationalize dullness as transcendence. It can rationalize deadness as renunciation. If you move in the right direction, life will continue to flower. But this is how things are. The cunningness of the mind is infinite. It can rationalize anything. Be aware of this. Rationalization of the mind allowed life to blossom in infinite colors. Not only life will attain a new meaning, instead you will learn the knack of meditation.